You ever wonder about combining your younger quail with your older quail? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And today we're working with uh, my newest batch of quail. There's only about six of them in here. They're about three weeks old, and I know it's going to be hard for you to see them through the uh, cage here, but we'll take a closer look at them here in just a minute, or through the brooder box, I should say. It is a filthy brooder box. It needs to be cleaned out, but instead of cleaning it out, I'm going to go ahead and move these guys out here to this, uh, to this pin here that has my breeders in it. Now, I found there's a significant size difference. These are adult birds. These are three-week-old birds in the brooder box. So they're much, much smaller than these birds right here. And you may initially be concerned by that, thinking, you know, I know whenever I combine birds together, they tend to fight. They tend to pick on each other. Sometimes they'll even kill another bird whenever you just introduce a new bird into an existing flock. But I've had really good luck with moving younger birds that haven't hit sexual maturity yet in with older birds, even if it is the breeding season. It seems to be the hormones that kind of get them to fight, and they don't see the younger birds as a threat. So I've had really good luck with that. Very little, if any, instances of them picking on the younger birds. So these are not going to be a meat run. These are going to be replacement breeders. I'm a little bit low right now, and most of these are females. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them to produce eggs, to, to produce uh, future offspring for me. So it's a good time to go ahead and move them and mix them in with the older birds. Now again, they're about three weeks old, so they're fully feathered out. They've been off the heat lamp for you know a little over a week and a half, and uh, they have not had any supplemental heat. Now they've been inside, so the temperatures have been maybe mid-60s at the lowest, and it is a little bit cooler outside tonight. I think it's supposed to get down to about 55, 56 degrees, somewhere right around in there, but they should do just fine. Like I said, they're fully feathered out at this point, so it's really not that big of a transition for them. So uh, let me get this cage opened up here. We'll get these birds moved in, then we'll come in for a closer look here. All right, Let's see how we do here. There you go. And they are enjoying the uh, sandbox already. Oh, y'all guys ran to the other side here on me. I better close this pin up for just a second, keep birds from flying out on me. They kind of seem to be a little bit freaked out by the new additions here. Not aggressive, just uh, kind of freaked out by it. Max, get back. You don't need these birds. Get back. Now you might be able to see when I added the new birds, all these little, all these older birds came out here and moved pretty much as far away from them as they could get. It's kind of strange. It seems like they're a little bit freaked out by them, a little bit scared of them, but they'll acclimate pretty quickly to them. We've got some going over to the other side now here, so let's see if we can get them in there. <laughs> and they're, they're not staying over there, though. They're wondering what these new additions are to their cage. So it's going to disrupt things for a day or two. Maybe a little bit of a slight uh, drop in my egg production. But again, I've had really good luck with moving them in there. Not having to worry about any kind of fighting or anything like that. Let's take a look at the babies on the, uh, on the side with the sandboxes. You can see the baby birds, they're, they're just enjoying the sandbox. They haven't had a, access to a sandbox before, so it's a little bit of a treat for them, a little bit something, uh, something new and exciting. They don't even seem to notice the older birds, honestly. They're just, uh, they're just happy. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. They're just happy playing in the sandbox, and they'll do that for quite some time uh, before they get out and explore the rest of the cage. One thing I am going to do is uh, I've given them a few minutes here. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick them up, put them over here on the wire, see if I can get them to go out to the other side, find the food and the water. Go 
Come on, guys. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Go on. Go on through. Go on through. Go on through. Go on. Go on. Oh, I gotta move so I can get into there. I should go, 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 go. Nope, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Max, go on. All right, like I said, a little bit of chaos in here for a few minutes. They're gonna, they're gonna kind of panic, but uh, but they'll figure it out pretty quick. The other thing I'm going to do is fill up some of these water cups, but I want to wait till the birds kind of calm down just a little bit. All right, so there was a little bit of chaos when I uh, first threw the baby birds in there. It kind of freaks out the older birds. They don't necessarily respond with aggression. They just kind of respond with a little bit of like, they're just not sure what that is and uh, a little bit cautious of it. And they, they really want to stay away, but they're starting to calm down now. They're already all moving back into the sandbox. They're sharing the sandbox together and uh, really calming down. Again, I've had really good luck with combining birds like this without having any kind of fighting or anything like that take place. They get acclimated well before they hit sexual maturity, and then they're just part of the flock, so it's no big deal. And uh, it's worked out very, very well for me. The only thing I'm going to have to do is just kind of make sure none of the baby birds crawl through the holes in the feeder, end up inside the feeder, uh, make sure they know where to get water from. They'll probably figure that out on their own. They'll see the other birds drinking from there, and they'll follow suit. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll come out tomorrow, uh, morning, um, I'll fill those water cups back up so that they've got water at the top and the birds will find that pretty quickly. They're going to get thirsty and go looking for, for uh, water pretty quick. They'll figure that out. Once they take a drink or two out of that, they know where the water is and they'll come back to it. So it's not really that hard to uh, train them to those water cups, so to speak. Um, but that's really about it. Uh, just keep an eye on them, make sure they're doing okay over the next day or two and then that's it. They're going to be just fine. So hopefully you guys figured something out from this video, learned something, enjoyed it one way or the other. Thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless.